This video presentation is used as fair use as a disclaimer for educational purpose only. All instrumental music is used as fair use for educational purpose only as a disclaimer. I'm here with a man himself, the African giant Burner Boy, and I want to ask you why is it important that the diaspora come home? You know why? The, okay, let's use America for example, right? Because there's the case in England. But let's just use America, right? Why do you think the Chinese American yeah, has their respect? And they're not, they don't go through the things that African Americans go through. Like, even though they might go through their struggles, I'm not taking anything away from them. But they don't go through what the African American goes through. You know why? Because the Chinese American has a base. No, he actually knows where he's from in China. Right. And he has support from the Chinese government. You understand? Now, the Italian American. They have Italy. They know where their grandparents came from in Italy before. They know the first. So, I'm here with a man himself, the African giant Burner Boy. And I want to ask you, why is it important that the diaspora come home? You know why? The Peace and black power. Peace and black power. This is Underground Warrior TV. I'm back with another video. If this is your first time coming into my channel, man, please come in liking that video. You know, come subscribing to the channel. And you know, share the video and hit the notification button at the bottom or notification bell at the bottom so you will always be in the crosshairs when I drop one of these hot ass videos and it's hot tonight so let me tell you something in this country especially in america in the western world because we know the western world is set up on falsehood the western world and the man of falsehood is nobody but the european he makes up falsehood and when you expose falsehood you're deemed uh, crazy, you deem uh, militant, you deem racist, you deem crazy. They put you in all kind of little categories when you expose falsehood because the man of falsehood, only way he can rule the world is keep people up under technology. And most Negroes in this country, they hate the truth now. You know why? Because they was bought up on that slave plantation. Yeah, the video I just showed you was the pop star African Nigerian 31-year-old black man by the name of Burner Boy. Now, I don't keep up with the hip-hop that much or the pop that much because it's so watered down these days, but that's just me having a closed mind. So I need to open up. And listen to what the kids got to say, even though I don't appreciate none of the music no more. But you got to understand what they're saying. Now, this brother here told the truth. How come you can't speak the truth in the land of falsehood? You're going to be deemed what I said you're going to be deemed. They're going to put you in some type of category to give you a name. And classify you by that name because you spoke the truth. Negroes, they thought that this brother was putting us down. It's not our fault. Well, some of our people fault that we went through the slave trade. But the victims of the slave trade, which is us, we didn't have no say so. Somebody caught our ancestors in war and sold us into slavery. Some of us bought over here. You know what I'm saying? By the white man who went into the interiors of Africa after he came weaponized. So everybody did participate in the slave trade in Africa. So Africans in this country, we need to stop hating our African brothers and sisters that's 9,000 miles away from us in Africa. We need to be bridging gaps together. We need to be coming together as a people because we are one people. He's right. The brother spoke the truth. How come when you speak the truth, you, you get a you get a funny reaction? You know, the black man, a, a masculine black man, you need to stand on these truths. Don't be separated to ride with the majority. 
Don't be a, 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 a beta male, you know. To me, you know, um, black organizations and black men standing on the throne as being a, a, a respectable um, human being throughout the land, to me, that's gangster, you know, to stand up for your own people. You know what I'm saying? Now you rubbing, you know what I'm saying? You rubbing the uh, white supremacists the wrong way. You standing up to the white supremacists. That's gangster, standing up to the white supremacists. So this 31-year-old musician has been an outspoken voice about Africans and African-Americans being united. This brother said nothing wrong. You dig rolls just was bought up on that slave plantation and you gonna take things the wrong way. Every time somebody speak in our behalf as a people, it's always a Negro who come out the woodwork and fear the rise of his own people because the love of white people. Most black people who got mad at this brother burner boy is Negroes who love white supremacy. And they have a misconception about Africa because the white supremacists paint a negative um, um, picture about the continent. Not telling you without the continent that the rest of the world will be in shambles. America knows that Africa is the surrogate mother that feeds the rest of the nation's resources, natural raw resources. All that bling, 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 bling that you be doing, it wouldn't be so if it wasn't for the African lands, the rich, fertile lands in Africa, untapped resources. That's why China's there trading, building infrastructure for some of them raw resources. China know to make that cell phone, you need the technology out of South Africa to make that computer work. You need the technology out the grounds of South Africa, out the grounds of Africa. You feel me? She got more than gold, diamonds, and jewelry. She got other top resources that you need to survive and sustain life upon this planet. Africa might be feeding the world in a minute, but all that untapped resources when she's allowed to grow her own food. And I think she's about to start doing that. She's pushing back on the American dollar. She's pushing back on the American dollar. The American dollar is about to hit the fan, y'all. Because Africans are ready to create their own currency. So these so-called leaders that's easily bought, that they used to put in power, that's easily bought by paper money, them Negroes would not be elected again. Africa is pushing back against the white man. I've been reading up and keeping up on Africa. All praises due to Africa. But for you Negroes that understand nothing but that white man philosophy, you the only niggas that got mad. Us black people in America that know the truth, know this brother was speaking the truth. He explained now, y'all heard in the video, most black people in America don't know their ancestry. That's true. We don't know our ancestry. Some brothers are calling themselves Native American Indians. They're not associated with Africa. Some brothers over here look just like the people over in Africa. Say they not Africa. They don't have no African blood run through their bloodline. Let me requote that. They say they're not African. They're Indian. Their race that was already here in America. They have no connection to Africa. When you know everything on the earth, everything that was created has an origin. The wolf is the father of all dogs. So somebody had to come from somebody. They said that we was always brown. We were never black. We were brown people. When you hear people speak like that, this is that white man philosophy. This is that self-hatred philosophy that they're walking with. So only people that got mad at this brother is those who do not understand that liberation comes with all of us together, African-Americans and Africans. That's all the brother was saying, and we don't know our ancestry. How many African brothers and sisters in this country know their ancestry? 
How was this brother wrong? <clears throat> he said that there's no other race of people in this country that went through what we go through and still going through at this particular time. The Asians don't go through it. The Chinese America has a base. The Chinese America does have a base. It feels important. When you see Chinese people walk around here, they know that they superior because they have a base. How is this brother wrong? I'm trying to figure out. We the only black community that's not allowed to thrive. We the only people that's not allowed to have money. You got Africa over there. The richest nation in the world. The people just poor. We talking about the richest grounds in the world. You over here talking about America. America's grounds is, is, is not fertile. She's barren. Barren woman. She cannot uh, produce what Africa produce. Just like the African woman can produce more kids than the white female. This is why they trying to push the uh, gay thing on Africa. It's not culture. It's not culture in African culture. I told y'all that's why the penalties over there is stiff. It's a weird, strange culture. Africans did not practice it. Not saying that don't Africans practice homosexuality, but the majority of that is seen as taboo in Africa. Can't we understand that? See, we was brought over here up here in America. We was brought up here in America, so we don't even understand. So that's why the brother Gunner was saying what he's saying. We don't understand because we don't know our culture. That's true. How was he? How was he? saying something bad about us. He was just speaking the truth. Every time you speak the truth, people deem you to be a hater. You do say something. He wasn't hating on black Americans. He told the truth. We don't know our ancestry. We don't know our ancestry. That's why the Chinese do get more respect than we do. You, you you feel what I'm saying? American Italy, I'm Italian, that was born in America, has a base. It knows about Italy. How was he wrong? You say African or something about Africa to black people in this country, they frown up. You say something about Africa. You say, I'm taking a trip to Africa. Most African-Americans will look at you like you lost your motherfucking mind. They hate Africa. Niggas in the 80s wore jerry curls because they hated their nappy, nine-ether hair. We was taught to hate ourselves, so we don't even understand what this brother was saying, that we need to visit the motherland to connect back from where we come from. We, we fucked up as a people. How in the hell can you be upset with the brother speaking the truth? This is truth. I didn't know this brother was a Pan-African. A pop star, Pan-African. All I'm telling the brother, keep security around you. You know how these motherfuckers act. Bar Marley, the Rastafarian, was a Pan-African. And they killed him. The dude on his deathbed told us how he killed Bob Marley. We talking about that's just uh, a conspiracy theory. The dude wrote and told how he killed Bob Marley before he died. A CIA agent gave Bob Marley a pair of Converse's high top. Inside the Converse, it was a, a, a pointed needle in there that had cancer uh on the needle. Soon as he put the, the the shoe on, boom, it hit his foot and the cancer started tearing Bob Marley all the way down. These how these people get down 
when you use your music and your platform as a Pan-African. You know what I'm saying? I had some Negroes tell me that Pan-African is dead. Here we are. And I didn't even know that we have a Pan-African pop star who's been, who's bringing awareness to black people in this country and black people in Africa. Cause black people in Africa are being, are colonized too mentally. You got to understand when they got colonized, they got colonized when these kids didn't even know about history. We can go all the way to the 1400s when they first started invading Africa. 16, 1700s, kids over there was getting the curriculum. You was getting Dutch. Uh, 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 you was getting Dutch and, and, and European language. Your African language was blot out and your African culture, history, and everything was blot out. So people over there been colonized. Yes, Africans in Africa don't like Africans. Love the white man, though. Yes, Africans in America that don't like Africans in Africa. It's Africans in Africa that don't like Africans in this country. You know what I'm saying? Niggas hate niggas. It's niggas in this country that hate black people. Hate black people, but love the white man, though. So this brother trying to bridge a gap between us, you know, and them to show us that it really ain't no us and them, it's us. That's where we come from. 98% of us are descended from the motherland. I bet you that. I put money on that. I know that. We ain't no mongoloid. I understand what you brother saying about us already being here. It's self-explanatory, brother. I'm not the enemy. I'm not even going to speak bad on you no more. You brothers who want to be Indians, you don't want to be African. You just don't understand. You a handicap. And I'm not capping. You still mentally loving the white man and you scared to let go and just embrace who you are. Everything on this earth has an origin. It just so happened the blackest people on the earth come from that, 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 that place that you dread to go to because the white man told you that Africa looked like shambles. They give you a picture videos of several places in Africa, but they never show you the beautiful cities, the beautiful paved neighborhoods, just like America. America gives you that to divide you and your roots. They don't want you to know nothing about yourself. That's why they hired some of these brothers on YouTube, not all of them, running around talking about they ain't African. They copper. They not black. They copper. They a whole nother race of black people. They a whole new race. They another race of black people. Yes, they got a group of people. They are, they're not even connected to Africa. They start their own origin. So did the this Chinese man thought, this Asian man thought that they was their own race. And he go to do his DNA. This is scientific facts. He had an African ancestry. His parents was from Africa. I'm talking about his beginning parents. He had an African ancestry. A man that was born in Asia, an Asian. So how the hell you gonna tell me that everybody came to this country is a damn Indian? We was already here. When it's been proven, man, I, I, it's crazy. This brother said nothing wrong. I agree with the brother 100%. We don't know who we are. Everybody has a base. Everybody, the German American knows he's from Germany and he feels proud being from Germany. Every Germany woman here that was born a Germany American Proud of German heritage. She's part of Germany. That's why you don't hear a lot of people from Germany getting killed in America. 
That's why by the police, you don't hear about Chinese Americans getting killed by the police. You don't hear about American Japanese being killed by the police or being unjustly convicted of crimes. You very seldom see a Chinese motherfucking the penitentiary when I was in the penitentiary. You feel what I'm saying? Or motherfucking Japanese. That brother was 100% correct. Every time a brother speaks the truth, every time a black woman speaks the truth, they deem as a hater. Giving you love. This brother giving you love, trying to unite us as a people, but you so hateful against Africa. You hate Africa. They taught you to hate Africa. You hate, you ain't even been there. The white man gave you an image of Africa and you hate Africa. Your religion, Christianity, which is insanity, it taught you to hate Africa. And all those people over there in Africa that accepted that religion are enslaved economically because the white man went over there, enslaved our people in the name of religion. Same way with the Muslims. And I'm not talking about the Muslims in America, the uh, nation of Islam. I'm talking about the Eastern Muslims that participated in the slave trade and used Islam as a way to, to conquer the people. You talk about Mansa Musa of the 12th century. Mansa Musa was the richest man in the world. Soon as he accepted Islam, soon as he accepted Islam, his empire crumbled. Check out the, the uh, Mali Empire. You know, that's why I got so much pride because I know what black people did in the beginning. I'm African and I ain't afraid of being African. All those Negroes who got mad at Ghana, you better believe these Negroes, when you say going to Africa, they say, we ain't leaving this white man. Why would I leave this racist country and go to another racist country? Like the Africans over there are going hate Africans. It's Africans that live, African Americans that live in Africa right now in Ghana, living a prosperous life. They're not being attacked. Niggas hate niggas, so you're not telling me nothing different about an African not liking an African American. Black people over here don't like each other. It's black people hate to be associated with Africa. You say Africa, it's like saying somebody got cancer. You ought to see people face, well, you going on over there. They ain't got no running water. Some places in Africa don't have no running water. Some places in America, like Flint, Michigan, don't have no water. You feel what I'm saying? Some places in Africa do have running water. Some places in Africa are plushed out, like big cities, nice houses. Then they got the gutter where people ain't got no money. You got rich Africans. You got pro, pro, poor Africans. You got poor people in America. You got rich people in America. Shit, I, I live in a slum neighborhood. What, what are you talking about? People gave you the misconception of Africa, so you hate this brother for telling the truth about us. We don't know who the fuck we are. We don't have no friends. When we get killed, Africa don't call the uh, United Nations. Why y'all killing African Americans? That's one of ours. That's because we don't identify. Once we wake up in this country and they wake up and we come together, they can't stop us. Don't you know the immigration team that works for, Af for, for America, the immigration people, they brainwash the African immigrants before they let them into America. They tell them do not congregate or get involved with African Americans. They the wrong people to speak to or talk to. They all dope dealers. They all killers, gang bangers. And then when the African get here and start studying and find out that the white man lied to them, the immigration officer team, they, 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 they educate them. They give them a video. They pop in that old school VCR uh, tape and give them the rundown. Do not congregate with the African-American. 
because they're scared of our unification. You got to understand, they're the minority on the earth. All you got to do is wake up and unite. That's all the brother was saying. Y'all took it wrong. Peace of love and black power. Mash up the like, share this video, subscribe to the channel, Underground Warrior TV. Love y'all.